Hey everybody, it's Larry from Flying Out Comics. Today we have a real special new project we're going to start. Now, I bought a blue chip key and I'm really happy with it. It was quite expensive. Um, it's listed from my good friends at A1 Comics for $1,500. And I want to be fair and say that I negotiated this down to $1,300. It was still a great deal. So it was graded by the head grader at a 1.0. Now, Mr. Brian Pete, he has been collecting and selling comics for oh, well over 40 years. He's an expert, and I'm very pleased to call that. A1 is my local comic shop. All right, so on to this. This is Adventure Comics number 247. This is a blue chip key. It is the first appearance of the Legion of Superheroes. The first appearance of Cosmic Boy, Lightning Boy, and Saturn Girl. This is what we would call a quadruple key. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take this out and let's examine it. So I'll be very careful here. Now the grader's notes, because it's a 1.0, it is because the cover is completely detached so it's in two pieces so we'll take a quick look at this I'm gonna go ahead and very carefully lift up this cover piece and let's take a look now it's got creases color breaking creases all through the cover it's tanned it's got a lot of dust lines on the outer rim we have a big chunk missing out of here. Now, this is something that should probably be leaf cast, but uh, admittedly, I am learning to leaf cast, but my skill sets are not that of Kenny Sanderson. Now, Kenny, if you're watching, you are a rock star. So, we'll flip this over. It's got water staining. Uh, there's tide lines throughout here. There's all sorts of other staining in here. We'll go ahead and give this a bath and uh, see if we can get some of the, the tannins out, if not all of them. Now, we don't want a bone white uh, cover. That would be the exact opposite of what we want. So let's take a look here at the wraps. Now, these wraps, first thing I see is they are torn all the way through. So it's got a broken spine. One, two, three places. All in all, that's okay. So let's continue looking through this. I'll go really quick because I don't want to draw out your video. What I'm looking for right now is any page tears other than the spine. We know we're going to have to fix the spine. That's not a big deal. So, so far it looks pretty good. The staples on this were magnificent. They had wonderful patinas. What's funny is I'm also currently working on this book right now, uh, Challengers of the Unknown Number 1. So I've got that in my pile of things to do right now. So we'll get through here. I'm still looking for page tears. Now here's our center wrap. Uh, it is detached from the bottom staple. It's still attached at the top. continue on through here again we're looking for any tears now what you see here this is a bindery tear this is from when the book was made there's no reason to repair this or do anything like that every page has it that's just where the machine grabs the paper and shoots it through the press CGC does not knock you down for that all in all this book is looking fantastic still looking for any page tears I am really pleased with this. I'm not seeing anything here. Okay, let's set this aside. I'm very happy with the inner wraps. Let's take a look at the back page. I'm going to go ahead and uh, scoot this onto the board. It makes it a lot easier to see on the camera. There we go. So I put these two things together. There's some obviously this is folded over tell you what let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in our, our close-up camera here 
and let's take a look at this up close. Now, what we see here is there's water staining or moisture staining. We always assume it's water. We hope that it's water. It's not somebody's coffee or Coke or whatever. But every one of these pieces is folded over. So that means one major thing, and it's a good thing. All the paper is here. There's no missing pieces to the spine. So we'll do our repairs on this, and that'll be wonderful. Okay, and let's flip this over. And again, we have a very tan book. This is a downside. We do have a big chunk missing here. Nothing we can do about that. I will protect it. Uh, I will not fill it in because we don't do filling here. The only filler that's acceptable is leaf casting. And so I'll go ahead and uh, reinforce the spine with Japanese paper. And I may put something around the edge here just so it doesn't break away or crumble any, any further. We'll find that out after we get it wet. So here's our plan. Uh, our plan of action is to take this book. We're going to get it wet. We're going to deacidify it. This will take the tannins out of the pages, all the wraps, and get everything ready. From there, we're going to go ahead and dry the book. We'll do any necessary repairs on the wraps. And uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, it, put it into the blue light chamber. Actually, I'm getting this backwards for you folks. I don't want to tell you the wrong order. After we get it cleaned, and we'll heat press everything dry, then it will go to the blue light chamber. It will lighten whatever we can. Um, I Usually we want to do is take and lighten everything at least one level if we can. Sometimes the tannins are so embedded in the paper that that's just not possible. Like I said, we're not going to get it bone white. That's not the way the book was designed. So we'll go ahead and, and get this book put together and reassembled. And I'm, I'll do everything here with you on, online so you can see how everything goes. All right. I think we have a awesome, awesome project. All right, it's time to get started. And if you haven't tuned in to our live show yet, Dr. Paul from Liberty Hill Comics, Phantom Phil from Phantom Restorations, and myself, we have a live chat. We take your questions. We answer as many as we possibly can. And we try to choose interesting topics for the evening to talk about regarding comic conservation, preservation, and restoration. So please join us. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.